morning students so my name is swayshali patil as i have already told you yesterday in the last period so this is our english period and let us continue with the topic which we had begun yesterday so this is astrologer's day which is written by kartik nayar and we have talked about this author a little bit introduction i have given you already now the title if you see the astrologer's day so what do you mean by the astrologer we are knowing about the astrologer astrologer is nothing but a person who tells your future that is future teller you can see now he tells your future whether he knows his future or not nobody knows but still with the help of some equipment he tries to predict your future so this is what an astrologer does now what is the significance of this title which is given here astrologer's day what do you mean by day you know nowadays we are habituated of celebrating different days we celebrate mothers day we celebrate friends day friendship day uh, fathers day every day we are celebrating nowadays just to because of this social media it has become possible for everyone to know which day is celebrated and how it is celebrated Now here, this why this astrologer's day is given. So, what is the significance of this title? Now, you can say that ordinary day for the astrologer, which turns out to be most liberating or profound and stress-relieving day. Maybe that is why the title is given, and it is considered as astrologer's day. Now, what is the speciality of this? Here. the person or the astrologer he is relieved from the burden which was he was carrying for so many years and what was the burden why he was relieved on that day itself so everything we will come to know in this topic itself here the important events are given there is twist there is climax so what are these these are the features I mean, these are the things which we have to go through here. So, either now let us see what this astrologer's day is about. I'll in short, I'll tell you the outline of this. So, actually, here there is an astrologer uh, who is sitting here every day. He comes at the mid mid of the day at a public place. and he sits under large tree with his all equipment he spreads before himself and it was a common practice for him that he used to see how the clients are how they sleep and after he sleep for completely uh, 9 to 10 minutes he used to predict their future because any client himself used to tell everything about and seeing this and uh, maybe you can say that astrologer is a mind reader of other person he sees the gesture he sees the way the person speaks who is sitting in front of him and according to his idea he tells everything about the person after listening the whole story about the person or the client or the customer he tells everything what because the client or customer he himself tells him, uh, what are the problems he is facing and that it is it is but natural that the other person is going to predict hey i have some problem you are facing like this like this and this so this is what there is and there is one stranger which uh, who comes before him and that stranger is nothing but uh, that uh, stranger name is given here this is guru nanak Actually, his Guru Nanak challenges the astrologer that if you predict the truth about me, or if you say something relevant to my happenings, then I will give you money. And the stranger uh, says that I will pay you 
how much you have what how it will be like that so here the astrologer now recognizes who the person is and he recognizes that the stranger who is before him is no other than his guru nayak whom he had tried to hear long back and this was the burden he was carrying that i have killed someone so this burden he from this burden he got to live on that day the astrologer uh, stranger the guru nayak who is alive who is not dead so on that day actually he lives from the burden of committing a crime which he thought he had committed long back now this is what here this astrologer after that he confesses before his wife that he had tried to kill someone but that person is not dead at all and that person is alive so on that day astrologer is relieved from the burden so this is what the story is all about now if you see this page number c2 and astrologer's day is given i'll read it all of you look into your books now punctually at midday he opened his bag and spread out the professional equipment which consisted of a dozen cowrishas a square of peace cloth with obscure mystic charts on it a notebook and a bundle of palm and a writing his forehead was resplendent with sacred ash and vermilion and his eyes sparkled with a sharp abnormal gleam which was really an outcome of a continual searching look for custom but which his simple clients took to be a prophetic light and felt comforted so actually it is a midday and he was habituated of coming to that place he used to sit under a big tree there he used to open his bag and the, all the professional equipment which he brings in his bag he uh, spreads before him just like it is a cowrishal it's a piece of cloth a bundle of armor and writing and his appearance is also very strange which really attracts the customer because he is looking resplendent shiny as he has applied sacred ash on his forehead and vermilion or which is orange color of the back he has applied now see his eyes now the customer feels that this person has got something mystic so due to this appearance he was attracted towards the customers the power of his eyes was considerably enhanced by their position placed as they were between the painted forehead and the dark whiskers which streamed down his cheeks even a half wits eyes would sparkle on in such a set now here the power of eyes which he had got it was really considerably enhanced as the position so appearance of the person is more important if you look at an astrologer then you will come to know that he is having such a power which he can predict to it so the dressing code is different appearance is different so mustache is there long beard is there so both eyes in the middle of the eyes you for the forehead you will see that ash is applied on the forehead you find that orange something that type is to apply it over there so due to this appearance is not normal just like an ordinary person he looks something different so seeing him that we feel that let us see what our future is so such a person feeling in arrives in the customer and is a person who is passing by seeing the astrologer naturally he tends to see what his future is also So in this way, in the public place, he used to stay daily. So this was his business. He was earning from his income. Now this, to crown the effect, he would he would have saffron colored turban around his head. This color scheme never fit. People were attracted to the man. These are attracted to cosmos or Valian stocks. Now again. Saffron-colored turban around his head he was wearing. This 
color actually never fades because people are attracted towards this color. They see that this color is pure religious color you can say and people are just attracted towards him just like bees are attracted to flowers of straw. He sat under the boughs of a spreading tamarind tree which planted a path running through the town called Park. He was, it was a remarkable place in many ways. A surging crowd was always moving up and down this narrow road from morning till night. Now he daily used to come there. There was a big tamarind tree spread here under the spread, uh, tree. Uh, he used to sit there in the to the, which I mean, the road was passed through town hall park. So it was a remarkable place as it was always crowded. Many people passed through the street. And seeing the astrologer, many were attracted towards him. Because a lot of people were moving to that place from morning to midnight. A variety of trades and occupations was represented all along this way. Medicine sellers, sellers of stolen hardware and junk, magicians and above all an optional of cheap clothes created in a din all day to attract the whole. So the place was very crowded, it was now noisy also because lots of people were walking over there. Most of the people were selling medicines and uh, so hardware, stolen hardware were right there, junks were there, magician, food items, different items are sold in the marketplaces. So crowd is there and noise is there because all the people are shouting at the page to sell their clothes. So some uh, cloth seller is also there who is auctioning his cheap cloth. So auctioner means what? A person, auctions whoever gives more money he will sell the clothes. So that person. Now so this is the situation there. Next to him in a Vesuvius nest came a vendor of friend Kai Browner who gave him wear a fancy name each day. Calling it Bombay ice cream one day and on the next Delhi almond and on the third Raja's delicacy and so on and so forth. So now this vociferousness, you see the word, the meaning is given in the right side itself. Vociferousness is nothing but it is a big a loud noise that is called vociferousness. So with a loud noise you could find that grounder seller also appears there. So daily he calls his grounder in a different, with a different name. His name itself attracts to the customers. So some day he used to call the Bombay ice cream, some day he used to call Delhi Almond, some day Raja's delicacy. So in this way numerous names he used to give to this product. And people already clocked towards him. Everybody tried to buy those things. So considerable portion of this crowd arrived before the astrologer too. The astrologer transacted his business by the light of a flare which crackled and smoked up above the ground and keep nearby. So considerable amount, a portion of this crowd now wasted time just hanging around. So lots of people come in the marketplace not only to buy, even to just a time pass that they also come here. So lot of people were buying, lot of people were just uh, passing their time here, moving here and there. So that is why that place is very crowded. And some are just a window shop, for, uh, they for window shopping here. So they just go through the marketplace, they see the rates of the products. Sometimes they buy, sometimes they don't buy. So such are the things which we find everywhere in the market places. So here also we see the same thing. Now due to this, uh, people had time and seeing that this person was sitting astrologer there and they flocked towards. The astrologer he translated his business by light of flare which crackled and smoked up above the groundnut heap nearby. Half the enhancement of the place was due to the fact that it did not have the benefit of municipal light. 
The place was lit up by shop lights. One or two had hissing gas lights. Some had painted plates stuck on poles. Some had lit up by old cycle lamps. And one or two, like the astrologer, managed without light of their own. So lots of people were uh, there who were selling their products. Some had their own lights. Some didn't have their own lights. So municipality what light was uh, not that. Uh, powerful or uh, everybody couldn't benefit with that light. So uh, some shops lit uh, lights, they had their light and some uh, applied uh, used uh, gas lights also. So there were many sellers like uh, I mean this astrologer who didn't have their own lights. They um, got used to with other light itself. Somebody else's light they used. So this was the situation of their own. It was a bewildering crisscross of light waves and moving shadow. This suited the astrologer very well for the simple reason that he had not in the least intended to be an astrologer when he began life. And he knew no more of what was going to happen to others than he knew what was going to happen to himself next minute. So it was a completely confusing, bewildered, baffling, crisscross light of light rays like that and moving shadows. And this situation actually suited this astrologer as well. Because he had become astrologer by fluke. It was not his profession. No, he was not an astrologer from the beginning itself. Just because he wanted to earn his life before he became astrologer. He himself didn't know what his future is going to be and how he is going to tell others future. But still he managed to do that because he had all the qualities which could impress the customers. He was such a, he was as much a stranger to the staff as were his innocent customers, yet he said things which pleased and astonished everyone. That was more a matter of study, practice, and shrewdness. All the same, it was as much an honest man's labor as any other, and he deserved the wages he carried home at the end of the day. Yet, he was completely strangers to the stars or the, uh, according to the zodiac signs, he used to tell the future of the people. But he himself was not aware what the signs are, what his signs are, what is gap, uh, going to happen to him. So he was not at all aware of them. But still, he managed to do all these things. He tried to persuade people, he tried to impress people by uh, his gestures, by his sweet tone, and maybe he had the capacity to attract the people. So this is what Due to this, he could earn his livelihood because for the whole day he used to spend whole time in that place and persuading people, attracting people, saying different things about the people. He naturally managed to do that. And after that, he used to carry whatever he used to receive from the customers towards his home at the end of the day. He had kept his village without any previous thought or play. If he had continued, then he would have carried on the work of his forefathers, namely tilling the land, giving, marrying and driving in his cornfield and ancestral home, but that was not to be. He had to leave home without telling anyone, and he could not rest till he left it behind a couple of hundred miles to a village where it is a great deal as if an ocean flowed between. Now long back he had left his village without any previous thought or without any planning. He had to leave. It was, it was compulsion for him to leave because he couldn't stay in his original place. If he had stayed there, he would have done the same thing which his forefathers had done. He, used to, he would have worked in his farm just like his father. Or you would have got married there itself and stayed in, the, in that place working in the farm. But this couldn't happen because he had done something that is when he had to leave that place. He left that place, he went to some other village 
which was miles away from his original place or native place and he had to leave. So this is what the situation of the astrologer was. He had a working analysis of mankind's troubles, marriage, money and the tangles of human lives. Ty's long uh, practice had sharpened his perception. Within five minutes he understood what was wrong. He charged three pies per question, never opened his mouth till the other had spoken for at least ten minutes, which proved him enough stuff for a dozen answers and advices. Now he had everything, he had learned till now what type of work he had to do, how he had to manage his profession, everything. He had a working analysis of everything uh, and he knew what the troubles of mankind is, how people are suffering, what are the problems of the people, everything he knew. So he had sharpened his perception just uh, after listening a lot of things from the customers itself. Within five minutes, he could understand what is wrong with the customer because he used to charge three files per question. And that is why whenever he never used to open till the customer had spoken for at least ten minutes. And within that ten minutes, the customer used to declare everything about himself. The problem, so why he has come there, what had happened to him. So everything that customer used to reveal in front of him and this time, this was the time span where he minutely observed the customer and he got the idea of what the customer had the problem. And now after listening to uh, the customer for 10 minutes, then he tried to speak, to speak to him and then he used to give answers and he used to advise the person. And it was possible for him to do everything after giving the palms of the person. In many ways, you are not getting the fullest result for your efforts. Nine out of ten were disposed to agree with him. Now, every, every person has got problems in his life. And these people know what are the problems of the person, what the problem they are facing. So everything they know. So if you buy a blue car or something like that, you can predict a future person. Then seeing the farm, he used to say that in many ways you are not getting the fullest results of I mean, you are working hard for a lot of hours and everyone works hard. But everyone gets uh, fully for his work, it is not mentioned everywhere. See, even we work hard, whether we get full uh, effort of that, we don't know. But he, this is what everywhere happens. Now he used to say the same thing too, that you couldn't get the fullest result for the efforts or for the hard work which you have done. So now I know that, I mean, uh, this question is always there and this problem everyone faces. And everyone feels that, yeah, you may be knowing something that he has literally said something about me. Or he questioned, is there any woman in your family, maybe even a distant relative who is not well disposed towards you? And then this question is also suitable for everyone. Everyone will say, yeah, of course we do have a woman who is not well with us or something like that. Or he gave an analysis of character. Most of your troubles are due to your nature. How can you be otherwise with Saturn where he is? Now this is also true. Everybody has problems just because of that nature itself. If they have good nature, then others take the flavor of it. So everyone feels that my nature is good. I am really good. I help everybody. This is what they think. And this also questions who each and every person who ever comes in front of him. You had an impetuous nature and a rough exterior. This endeared him to their hearts immediately. For even the mildest of us love to think that he has a forbidden exterior. So again he used to that, say that you have a impulsive nature and you may be uh, you may appear rough outside. But you are intense at your heart. And this also suits everybody. I, everybody thinks that I am really good person. I am really good at heart. Maybe I may not appear that much good. Maybe I appear that 
but inside I am really good. So everyone feels like that and this also suits everyone. So in this way, he used to create questions, he used to get answers in those questions itself. So this was his duty day, he used to uh, sit there and he used to pretend that he knows a lot of things of the other person and the same questions and the same responses he used to receive daily. The same questions which he used to ask to each and every person which is maximum related to each and every one. So this is the way an astrologer predicts our future. So let us continue this topic again in the next few days.